The National Association of Manufacturers NAM is an advocacy group headquartered in Washington, D.C., United States, with additional offices across the country. It is the nation's largest manufacturing industrial trade association, representing 14,000 small and large manufacturing companies in every industrial sector and in all 50 states. Jay Timmons has led the organization as president and CEO since 2011. A 2018 article by Business Insider described the NAM as a behemoth in the U.S. Capitol, receiving unfettered access to the White House and top lawmakers on Capitol Hill. In 2018, House Ways and Means Chairman Kevin Brady commented that passage of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act would not have happened without leadership from the National Association of Manufacturers. President Donald Trump addressed the NAM board in 2017. Topic. Policy issues The NAM's policy issue work is focused in the areas of labor, employment, health care, energy, corporate finance, tax, bilateral trade, multilateral trade, export controls, technology, regulatory and infrastructure policy. The organization emphasizes four pillars that make America great, free enterprise, competitiveness, individual liberty, and equal opportunity. The NAM releases a Manufacturing Outlook survey every quarter. As of the second quarter of 2018, according to the NAM, 95.1% of manufacturers registered a positive outlook for their company, the highest level recorded in the survey's 20-year history. The same survey found that manufacturers rated the inability to attract and retain a quality workforce as their top concern. President Donald Trump mentioned the NAM's survey in an event at the White House in April 2018. The NAM's Manufacturing Institute is a 501 C3 dedicated to developing a modern manufacturing workforce to help manufacturers get skilled, qualified and productive workers to remain competitive. The Institute sponsors Manufacturing Day on the first Friday of October, a nationwide event for manufacturers to host students, parents, and policy leaders and address common misperceptions about manufacturing. In 2017, the NAM launched the Manufacturers Accountability Project MAP, a campaign run through the Manufacturers Center for Legal Action MCLA to combat frivolous, politically motivated lawsuits against energy manufacturers. As of August 2018, three of those lawsuits have been dismissed from court. According to NAM, manufacturing employs nearly 12 million workers, contributes more than $2.25 trillion to the U.S. economy annually, is the largest driver of economic growth in the nation and accounts for the lion's share of private sector research and development. Legislation <inaudible> 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 NAM supported the EPS Service Parts Act of 2014 H.R. 5057, 113th Congress, a bill that would exempt certain external power supplies from complying with standards set forth in a final rule published by the United States Department of Energy in February 2014. The United States House Committee on Energy and Commerce describes the bill as a bill that provides regulatory relief by making a simple technical correction to the 2007 Energy Independence and Security Act to exempt certain power supply EPS service and spare parts from federal efficiency standards. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Board of Directors. The NAM's Board of Directors includes Chairman David Farr, CEO of Emerson Electric Company, President Jay Timmons, CEO of NAM, and Vice Chair of the Board David T. Seaton, Chairman and CEO, Fluor Corporation, among others. History NAM was founded by Thomas P. Egan, late president of the Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce and head of the J.A. Fay and Egan Co., Woodworking and Machinery Company, not long after reading an editorial in the magazine, Dixie, out of Atlanta, Georgia, during the Depression of 1894. This editorial urged the manufacturers of the time to organize and work together to improve business conditions nationally. Under Egan's leadership, organization began, and a group was created, they called themselves the Big Fifty. He invited them, and asked them to invite others, to Cincinnati. 
On January 25, 1895, in the Oddfellows Temple, where 583 manufacturers attended, NAM was created. The U.S. was in the midst of a deep recession and many of the nation's manufacturers saw a strong need to export their products in other countries. One of the NAM's earliest efforts was to call for the creation of the U.S. Department of Commerce. The organization's first president was Thomas Dolan of Philadelphia, not, as erroneously listed in some sources, Samuel P. Bush. The early history of NAM was marked by frank verbal attacks on labor. In 1903, then-President David McLean Perry delivered a speech at its annual convention which argued that unions' goals would result in despotism, tyranny, and slavery. Perry advocated the establishment of a great national anti-union federation under the control of the NAM, and the NAM responded by initiating such an effort. In an address at its 1911 convention, NAM President John Kirby Jr. proclaimed, the American Federation of Labor is engaged in an open warfare against Jesus Christ and his cause. The NAM also encouraged the creation and propagation of a network of local anti union organizations, many of which took the name Citizens Alliance. In October 1903, the local Citizens Alliance groups were united by a national called the Citizens Industrial Alliance of America, NAM, in the late 1930s, used one of the earliest versions of a modern multi faceted public relations campaign to promote the benefits of capitalism and to combat the policies of President Roosevelt. NAM made efforts to undermine organized labor in the United States before the New Deal. NAM lobbied successfully for the 1947 Taft Hartley Act to restrict unions' power. The advent of commercial television led to the NAM's own 15-minute television program, Industry on Parade, which aired from 1950 to 1960. <laughs> Presidents of NAM Thomas Dolan David McLean Perry John Kirby Jr. Clinton L. Bardo 1934-1935 Henning Webb Prentice Jr. Sandy Trowbridge 1980 to 1989. Jerry Jasinowski 1990 to 2004. John Engler 2004 to 2011. Jay Timmons 2011. Topic: Chairman of NAM. Charles R. Sly Jr. Stanley Galt Michael Campbell David Farr Topic <laughs> Affiliates The NAM has one affiliate According to its website the Manufacturing Institute is the 501 C3 affiliate of the National Association of Manufacturers the Manufacturing Institute describes its priorities as the development of a world-class manufacturing workforce, the growth of individual U.S. manufacturing companies and the expansion of the manufacturing sector in regional economies. The Manufacturing Institute is the authority on the attraction, qualification, and development of world-class manufacturing talent. Footnotes. Further reading John N. Stocker, The National Association of Manufacturers, A Study in Ideology. Ph.D. Dissertation. University of Wisconsin, Madison, 1950. Sarah Lyons Watts, Order Against Chaos, Business Culture and Labor Ideology in America, 1880-1915. New York, Greenwood Press, 1991. Burton St. John III. Press Professionalization and Propaganda, The Rise of Journalistic Double-Mindedness, 1917–1941. Amherst, N.Y., Cambria Press, 2010. <laughs> External links National Association of Manufacturers Shop Floor Manufacturing Blog Manufacturing Institute Online description of historical NAM pamphlets, 1908–1969 National Association of Manufacturers. World War I posters
5190 plus Keel Center for Labor Management Documentation and Archives, Martin P. Catherwood Library, Cornell University. Archival Papers of the National Association of Manufacturers, Women's Department, 1895, at Smith College. <laughs>